It's often the case that you want to clean up something when a function is ran. Normally in C++, you would use something called RAII, which says resource acquisition as initialization. It generally is creating a struct, and in the constructor, you acquire the resource, and in the destructor, you free the resource. Most of the time, that could mean anything like cleaning up something or tracking something or like a scope timer. If you're doing performance, you start the timer when the function begins, and when the function ends, it stops the timer, and you can collect performance data that way. There's a bit of boilerplate in C++ that you normally have to do to set that up, and Unreal has this macro called onscope exit. And if we hop over to that, it is kind of complicated, but effectively, effectively what it does is it creates a struct. When the struct gets destroyed, when it goes out of scope, it calls the lambda. And so in this case, you can see we have these log lines here. The first thing we technically log, if we were to read this sequentially, is scope exit, but this one should be last. And then we do this one, it says this one should be before last, and then we do these. Doing stuff, doing more stuff, doing more, more, more stuff, and doing more, 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 more stuff. What's going to happen is this scope exit will create a scope here, and we're going to enter a new scope. This scope exit is actually tied to this scope, the function scope. And so we create this new scope, and this on scope exit is tied to this entire scope here. And then we're going to execute these, and then this scope will end, causing this to be invoked. And then the function scope will end, causing this to be invoked. So if I drop a breakpoint here, we can test this because I just hooked up to a console command. So if I copy the command and then execute the command, we can see that it is now printing the first line. So doing stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Then we hit our breakpoint for the scope exit because we are exiting that scope. Prints out the lambda. Says so this should be before last, which means we should get one more in the scope exit, and we get that one. This one should be last. So this might not seem like it's that important, and you could argue you could do everything without this, but it is a convenience feature that I find myself often using more and more. Anyways, I hope that helps and teaches you something new. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and until next time.